So I'm installing my uh, bilge pumps, my submersible bilge pumps, uh, down in these two six-inch observation tubes on the gray water planter. These tubes go down to the bottom of the, the planter, and they double as observation tubes with being able to see the water level of the planter, and also as a po access points where I can drop my submersible pumps for the recirculation of the gray water planter, and also. I already have the pump installed in this guy right here. This is the pump that primes this pump, which then pumps water through this filter and then out to the toilet, uh, where it's then uh, flushed down and used as black water. So I'm, I just uh, set this guy up. We're using, uh, what is this here? 14-2 uh, utility water resistant wire. Um, there's a couple different wire options. There, are, there's wire that's specifically meant for uh, submersible, like um, uh, sump pumps. But I think this is going to work just fine. Uh, what I did here was I have two waterproof butt splice connectors connecting the two wires in this cable to the two wires of the bilge pump, and so they're crimped down. And then I have uh, two different size shrink wraps, heat shrink wrap uh, tubes over that to get the two different sizes of wires nice and tight. And then I used a brush-on electrical tape. I did a few uh, coats of that, and that is producing a waterproof seal. Um, and then I have this three-quarter inside dimension braided hose with a, with a hose clamp here connected to the submersible. And that's gonna come up through the observation tube, out this hole, and then that's gonna actually hit the recirc line, which is this one half-inch PEX right here. It's gonna go all the way down to the reception cell down there. And the wiring is going to go up into this box where I have a switch for the uh, for the uh, uh, gray water pump going to the toilet, and I'm also going to have this timer here, which is going to be used to turn on the research pump. Currently, I'm using a 60-minute timer, so it's going to run for 60 minutes. Uh, probably in the future, I'll get something that uh, runs more automated and for longer periods of time when it's sunny. Um, okay, so I'm going to drop this guy down in this tube. Oh. I'm going to take off this label. Okay. All right. I'm going to run my hose out the hole I drilled. I drilled an inch and a half in, an inch and a half hole inside of the observation tube. I'm also going to run my utility wire through that same hole. Okay, so now I'm going to make my, my, uh, my hose connections and my electrical connections in the box here where I already have DC power run and uh, and we'll be good to go. All right, so I have the submersible pump all done inside there for the uh, recirc, and I got the hose just with a uh, three-quarter inch to half inch PEX fitting. I don't know if it's really meant for this, but I just clamped that three-quarter inch in inside dimension uh, hose right here to the to the, cr the PEX crimp side of the brass fitting. There's a half inch PEX crimp on this side, and this PEX hose goes all the way down. It's going to go inside the planter, all the way down to where Glenn is holding it, where it's going to go back into the reception cell to recirculate the water in the gray water cell, uh, planter. So I have a 60 minute timer on here, wired up, and I'm going to turn, the, turn this to turn it on. And you can hear it going, and there goes the water. And now to test the gray water, um, the gray water pump, the submersible that primes the pump that pumps water through that filter, and then over into the toilet through through that guy right there. And I got that I got that uh, valve on it just in case we need to maintenance. 
and that goes all the way back into this wall and all the way back all the way to the toilet okay so this is an on and off situation there's a pressure switch on this pump and it's set to really sensitive so that when the valve opens on the toilet to let more water in this thing will sense a drop in pressure and kick on and as soon as it closes it'll the valve on the toilet as soon as that closes it stops filling um, with that with that floating flange or whatever it will shut off again whoa what the hell that leak got a lot worse okay so we're tacking the uh, EPDM up to the wall of the, uh, the planter um, in this case the curb that we have here uh, we're doing this with Tapcon, one and a half inch Tapcon screws. We're pre-drilling with a masonry bit. And we're using these poly ISO washers to, to hold it on. Um, so I'm cutting off the excess folds right now off this EPDM. Just with a utility knife. Like so. Okay, so we'll continue tacking around the entire planter. And then we're going to have uh, some sort of cleat or a plaster stop holding all this stuff down. And uh, maybe just a piece of wood, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to plaster over this or if I'm going to tile it, put stone on it, or just maybe stain it just like I did the floor. So that remains to be seen. But uh, once we finish this, we'll be able to fill the planter with uh, sand and dirt. And at that point, it should be fully functional.